Welcome to More Business, More Life TV. And today I'm up on the hill up behind my house. Got a little bit of a lens flare or something there. I'm on a rock. You can see that I come meditate on, play my flute. And uh, I just wanted to talk about exactly that. When do we take time for ourselves just to be in nature or to be with yourself? So, and how does that affect our businesses? I want to talk about that for a few minutes. So, you know, I used to think if I kept working and I would get more done, I would make more money, I would be able to have more life. And the reality is finding the time for my life has allowed me to have more business. So it's the opposite. Uh, the more time that I give myself, the, the, it's in a way the smarter I am, the better decisions I make. I, uh, you know, just coming up here on this rock, sitting here looking at all these trees, you realize how big the world is and, and in some ways how small we are, you know, in, in the reality of the vastness of this world and, you know, the trees that live for hundreds of years and they're so big and, you know, even my time I spent, I've done two trips to the Amazon rainforest and, you know, my time there was one magnificent but the other thing that i got is you know this world will survive you know even we talk about all the things we're doing with the environment and i think uh the world will find its way the you know humans might not survive or other animals like the amount of things that are going extinct you know if you look at the numbers it's crazy but then there's a lot of good things there's a lot of animals that have recovered and we can recover as well. And I think part of that is taking time, taking time for ourselves, taking time uh, to, to, to be with ourselves. And again, this was hard. I had to like make it a habit, just like, you know, uh, and you might say, oh, it's hard to like go on a hike. Well, it was because I had to schedule the time. You know, think about the times that you go you know if you're going to go to the gym or if you're going to eat right all of these things are decisions are you going to go on vacation or are you not going to go on vacation are you going to work 10 15 hours a day or are you going to work less and i want to tell you right now putting in more hours is not the only answer i mean there are advantages there are things that you can take advantage of by doing some of those things but i'll tell you the years that i did that it actually wasn't in my advantage. I've realized now that when I'm more efficient, when I have more power, when I have my more energy, and often people think time is the game that we're playing for, and I would tell you it's not. We often think time is one of the most valuable things, but I really think now what the reality is is that energy is more important. If we have all the time in the world, but we don't have energy, then what are you going to do with that time? And that's what happens when you wear yourself out. When you work hour after hour after hour, you're working at half your energy, if not more. I, I would say a quarter of your energy in some cases. And if you actually go recharge, you're going to come back with more power, more energy to do and have what you want. And so that's why I take these time to recharge, to come up here in the mountains and be with the trees or to go to the beach, uh, to do something else. And even if this is not accessible to you, I do believe where you live matters. Can you get access to nature? And, and if you can't bring it into your life somehow, like even, you know, with a lot of what's happened and a lot of us staying home, you know, even if you're in a condo and you have a balcony or something like that, or, you know, you can order plants and have them delivered to your house, bring plants into your, uh, into your house if you have to. And you can look up good plants that work well indoors and bring in new oxygen too. There are healing plants that can bring new life into your world. And then spend time with that, you know, just even taking time to be with yourself, to journal, to meditate. Um, but I would highly recommend if you can get out in nature, even if you have to plan it for the weekend, you have to drive to go somewhere where you can be um, and and just spend time. And, it, and, it, and I will say in, in kind of closing on this. Give yourself patience and be kind to yourself because it's not, uh, you know, first it wasn't normal for me to sit and, and just relax or just to be with the trees. So just try some, a few simple things like to be silent and listen to the sounds, like even just listen right now. All 
I can hear the cicadas. Like, they're so loud right now, actually. When I get quiet, I just heard a car in the distance. I'm pretty far from a road, but you can still hear it echo through the valley here. I hear a frog in the background. I just heard a bird chirp. Just give yourself space. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous and for some folks, but give yourself some time to listen. Find something else to think about and just relax. Take some deep breaths. Just be. So often we try to be something and most of the time that's for others trying to be something that we think we should be. Take time and find yourself. And I can tell you with my experience and my client's experience, when we do this, we actually start experiencing better decision-making, more power and energy in our work. And we start achieving more of what we want with less time. And then I can go enjoy even more time out here in nature. It's escalated. I went from like meditating for five minutes, sometimes upwards to an hour. I don't do that every day, but I can give myself an hour just to be with myself before I, before I work out, before I uh, go out and have a morning tea or you know whatever I'm gonna do. I never used to give myself that space. So just try and start with five minutes, 10 minutes, go for a little walk and then allow that to escalate. So I'm gonna close uh, here from my, my rock, my meditation rock up here on the top of the hill behind my house. And I just wanna send a ton of love and virtual hugs your way. And I hope you'll just take some time, five, 10 minutes, maybe an hour, that would be awesome if you could take that much time and go find your little piece of nature, your place where you can spend time with yourself. And then you're gonna have more energy to give to others and to give to your business and just be in your in your life. Oh, and one other comment, I definitely gotta get a haircut, which hopefully I'll do next week. All right, everyone, remember, choose gratitude and create freedom. We'll see you on the next episode. Hey there, I wanna give you something really big. It's called Clear Path to Customers. It's the way that we get the right language to get the right client. I like to call them your wow clients so that you can have more results, more revenue, more raving fans, and more referrals. And I wanna give this to you absolutely free. And all you have to do is go to stevenoplaton.com to check it out, or you can look at the description here. We'll put the details there. As always, remember, choose gratitude and create freedom.